Well, it's really quite simple. You go back to the dashboard. Uh, you click on a new page. Add a new page. Give it its title. Um, let's call this one cph.org. Just so you know where it is. You go down in here and under you have to click the text because you're going to be putting code in and then you simply place in that piece of code and then here you need to be able to put the right place in and ours is cph.org and then if it's going to be its own place um, a tab out there on the site then you just simply publish it because you don't have to put it under a sub uh, menu and you put it out there so let's go see if it's there oops I need to refresh real quickly and there's the tab and let's see if it takes us to that site and there it is it puts then um, Concordia Publishing House's site right inside. Okay, and that's just how you do that. That's it. I happen to forget one thing. Um, you'll notice that it didn't cover the whole page in here. So what we need to do is go back to this page, and we want to edit this page. And it's a real simple matter. You go to the bottom in WordPress and you say, I want it to be this. Otherwise, it won't, um, there's not enough room then for it. So you're going to click on the full page button and then simply update it. And um, when we go back here now, um, when we go back to our site, Faith Leaders. And we see our tab. We should now have a full page. This menu here is now gone. You notice this menu is gone. And that's how you keep a full website on your page. And that's it.